Hey, hey, hey everyone. Welcome back to another What's in the Box Wednesday. Check out how cute it is, y'all. So cute. Make your dreams happen, guys, unless they're nightmares. Nobody wants those to happen. Anyway, in this little segment of my channel, What's in the Box Wednesday, I will show you something new that I've recently got. It can be anything crafting related, and then I'm going to show you how it works usually. So, for this week's What's in the Box Wednesday, we have... It is... Whoa. It is... Texture Sheets and Pearl X. Hmm. What could that do? I'll tell you, don't worry. Let me just close this giant box here. Okay. Texture sheets and Pearl X. Sorry, let me move my light there. That's better. These can be used for a number of things. The main reason why I got these is I'm gonna use them with polymer clay. The texture sheets can put an impression on sheets of polymer clay. The pigments can be used for, oh, loads of things. Um, you can tint your clay with it. It can be applied to regular acrylic paint. They're amazing. I purchased both of these from Hobby Lobby. I've been wanting to get these things for like ever. They have big bottles of these in certain colors. I got the sampler pack, but it's not cheap, y'all. This one was $24.99. Now I'm in Missouri, so like wherever you guys are, that might be different, but it's expensive. But finally got my hands on it. Thank you, Kerwin. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna stop this part here. I'm gonna get my clay board out and we'll take a closer look of the, at these things. So be right back. All right, so we're going to take a closer look at these things. So I took the texture sheets out. And I'm not sure, oh yeah, you can see them. So like this texture sheet is just some swirls. This just looks like a, a bumpy surface. Oh, mm. so I got this one. And diamonds, ooh, we like diamonds, don't we y'all? So real quick, so I purchased the texture sheets at Hobby Lobby, $4.99 here in Missouri. Muckins, now when you buy these texture sheets, um, they do have different sets, so don't like go there and find this package and think you're going to get this one, because you might not. The very bottom right, you see one is something that says like set E. Okay, so you have this chart here, shows you pictures of set A, blah, 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 and I'm, I got set E. So just to give you a quick idea, the set options, and that is at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so that's what the texture sheets look like up close. Okay, this is what I'm mostly excited about. So I've been wanting to try Pearl X for a very long time, guys. And it's, it's just this powder pigment you can use on like oh, any and everything, but extra cool with polymer clay. I wanna have these sheets back there because we're gonna test a little bit. Just do a little testing. So I'm gonna pull these out real quick. So I'm just gonna open this one here just to give you an idea. They're like powdered pigments, right? So that's what the bottle looks like here. And there's a name of the color somewhere. Mm, I thought there was a name. Well, oh, three grams, that's interesting. Oh, there is. It does say the color, I think, does it? Hmm, yes it does. Okay, so really tiny up there. Oh, there it is, that's English. Okay, sky blue. Okay, and it kinda, it's, you see, it kinda looks like eyeshadow or something, I don't know. Don't put this on your eyes, y'all. <clears throat> I'm just gonna, maybe you can. I probably wouldn't try. Okay, I'm just gonna try to open this here. Now, I'm not going to like have an auto. Uh -oh. I'm gonna be careful. 
I'm really concentrating, y'all, like a lot. <laughs> I was being so careful and concentrating because I thought the powder was going to go everywhere. And there's a covering. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Let's just maybe knock some of this in there. Oh, cool. I already got some on me. Look at that. Would you look at it? Oh my goodness. And you know what? Like, you barely, barely have to dab it. I think I'm just going to leave this on there. And then put the lid on. It just seems logical so you don't have an uh-oh when you open it. Holy moly. Look how pretty that is, though. Oh, my gosh. But, like, a tiny little bit goes a long way. I'll show you. And the only reason why... You know, I know a little bit about it. It's because I've watched videos on it. <laughs> That's basically it. This is my first time actually trying it. Okay, and then you got this color. What is it? You know, I can hardly see when it's on the clear thing. Um, Bronze. Oh, that one looks nice. Okay, I'm not going to read all these colors to you guys because we'd be here all day. Look at that. Okay, look at these. Oh. Oh my gosh, look at that one. Oh, I'm so excited. And again, they do have bigger bottles, but like I think that these are going to last a long time. And y'all kind of see what I mean in just a second. Okay. Ooh, look at that blue. Ooh. Oh my goodness. A black. Hmm. Interesting. Is it black? Oh, it says carbon blue. Hmm. There's this one. Come on, focus. Pink gold, hey. All right, now. Sorry if that was loud. Same kind of thing with this. This is the package that you'll see. It's $24.99 at Hobby Lobby here in Missouri for the sampler pack. Now, same kind of thing. This is series three. All these colors that you see that I got here are part of the series three colors they do have different options at hobby lobby um yeah and it doesn't have like a oh look that was an easier way to read the names ha 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 gray lavender that's fancy but it doesn't have a little preview of the other sets but just one thing to keep in mind of if you go out and get yourself some okay so i'm gonna set these off to the side and then I'm going to show you how we use these on a polymer clay. And again, this is the first time I'm actually doing this. I only know what I know by tutorials. So we're going to be using the texture sheets, but I also got just plain white clay because like I said, along with using them on texture sheets, you can also tint clay with it. So I have some white clay here. And let's see which one do we want to attempt with. Mm. Let's try this one. Look how pretty it is. Sky blue. Okay, so it says you can tint the clay or color the clay. Um, I'm sure you could use translucent too, but I don't think it, the color would be as vibrant. And again, I'm going like I already got some on there. Good thing I chose this color. Um, was I just talking about? Oh, I'm going to be doing a lot of experimenting with this, guys. A lot. And as most of you know, I make a lot of polymer clay pens. I got to find a way to get textured sheets on pens. <laughs> That's going to take some messing around with. Okay, so all I did was condition the white clay a little bit. Careful. All right. Now, watch. My fingers, my hands are pretty much clean 
but you just have to lightly press in there and you pick up a ton. Look at that. Okay, now let's see what this does. Okay, I'm just gonna fold it. Try to get some of that off my finger. But look how it clings to the clay, guys. Like, isn't that awesome? Like, it doesn't come off or anything. Same thing with the texture sheets. I'm excited to try it. I wonder if I should have put more in there. All right, I'm just going to do a little bit more. Let's see. Oh, get off my hands. Man, it does cling, though. It clings to everything. You know, I have this crazy fear that Nora's going to come in my office or my craft room and be like, ooh, mommy's makeup. Let me just <laughs> go to town on it because that's just something she would do. All right, let's put a little bit more here. And she's done that before too, just letting you guys know. Okay, let me try to close this before I accidentally knock it over. Because I just heard Kerwin and Nora pull up. Speak of the devil. Alright, now I'm just going to knead this in. And I may have to stop the video and come back if she comes in here all crazy and whatnot. This is so cool. I just love the metallic look of them. I really, really do. It's still like coming off of my fingers. And if you guys are interested in working with the powdered pigments, you may also hear them, like if you're watching another video, be referred to as mica powder. And it's basically the same thing. Pearlex is just the Hobby Lobby brand. Okay, well, I don't really have a vibrant color yet, but if I kept mixing and kept adding little by little, I definitely would get there. But there is metallic shine to it. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up. Hold on, let me get rid of that hole so you can see it better. Okay. So I do have a sky blue color now. And again, you can see a little darker spots right there because I could have kept kneading. But just for the sake of time, you guys get the gist. Isn't that awesome though? I just, I can't wait. I am going to try to get this off my finger real quick. Okay, I'm actually going to go quickly wash my hands because I want to work with different colors of these and I don't want to mix them. I don't know. I'll be right back. Now, for the texture sheets, I put together or I hmm, ruled out four different little squares of polymer clay here and it was just part of my scrap clay and then this was some Kato that I had <laughs> and I don't like Kato. <coughs> so perfect tester, right? So we're going to start with this blue here. It's just random blue from my scrap pile I mixed together. And uh, let's see, which texture sheets do we want? Let's try the diamonds. Okay, so you'll see how one side has the diamonds like bulging out and this side has it going in. Oh gosh, look at my finger. Hold on a second, let me wipe my hands real quick. Gotta love alcohol wipes, right? <laughs> anyway, so one part's coming out, the other one's going in. So I'm going to try doing it like this, where the diamonds are like indented. And 
Again, I have not done this before and I've seen multiple different ways to do this. So I just have a raw piece of clay here with some Thanos hair on it. <gasps> Get up out of here. Anyway, so I'm just going to set this right on top of the texture sheet. And I'm just going to press firmly. And again, I don't really know how I'm going to get these on pens, but like if I can <clears throat> figure out how they did it on all the videos that I watched, you guys are going to be blown away when you see what this Perlex can do. It's going to try to take my roller here. And you want to press firmly because this is what's going to make the actual texture. All right, now I'm just going to go up and down here. And I do have these rolled out on the thickest setting of my pasta machine. Okay. So I've got this on my sheet here. Just going to take the corner. I don't know why I whisper when I concentrate. It seems to help me though. Okay. And don't rush that part because it is clay. It does move. It's raw, I meant, so it'll move. Check that out. Now we have diamonds on our square. <laughs> All right. Gently sit it down. Now, which color do I want to choose? Hmm. How about this? I want a contrasting color so we can see exactly what it does. And plus, I just want to keep trying all of them. <laughs> all right. You guys are going to be like, oh my gosh. I mean, I was when I saw people doing what I'm about to do. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Okay. So, this is, what is this one? Salmon pink. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to adjust the camera here. And then zoom in a wee bit. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Sorry, it's shaking. I gotta find a better way to secure my mount. So we have the indents. The indented part are the lines, right? So I'm just going to take my finger, lightly press in. Here comes the magic. Keep watching. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Like this is just as satisfying as I imagined it would be. And when I rolled these out, because I wanted to test them with you guys, on the squares, I got lighter squares and darker squares. So we can see how the pigments look on both lighter colors and darker colors. Oh, that is so pretty. Now I gotta try to get rid of those that group in the cracks here. Oh man, I put too much on. Whoopsie. Okay, let me just get a brush here. Always have a paintbrush on hand. Okay. Oops, sorry, I keep hitting my arm here. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Let me put this away here real quick. I'm just gonna show you. So, I think I probably used too much at a time. <laughs> Got overly excited, but that's okay. That's why we do these tests. Okay, 
because I still have, here, let me bring it up so I can show you. There we go. That's my light. Look at that. <laughs> that is still so cool looking. But like right in here, I had too much on my finger, I think. So I got too much in the cracks. But it basically like takes the pigments on what's facing up. Okay. It's like now I know. I'll just use a little bit at a time and then you won't have so much in there. But look at that me metallic. Oh my gosh. It almost looks like mermaid scales to me. I'm hoping that this is picking up the color. I'm trying to move the light here. Oh, that's a little bit better. So cool. Okay, so there's one texture. All right. All right, changed up the angle here just a little bit. I'm gonna turn on the, I turned on the backlight too. See if that helps you see the color a little bit. It's just so cool. See how I got it too much in the cracks there? No peeking. Okay, so now we're going to try it on this light pink. And this is that Kato weird stuff. Now this texture sheet, let's see, <clears throat> looks like these lines are indented. And these, okay, so this one, the little design is what's out so i want the pigment to go on the design so i'm going to choose the side mm, that has that out sorry i'm just wiping my hands off with my little alcohol wipe here okay so i want this cool little frilly design on the outside so i'm just going to take my pink clay here and then press it i'm going to try to pick it up here Nope, that makes it come off. Yeah, I was worried about doing this with a Kato because the reason why I didn't like this clay, and keep in mind too that I bought this from AliExpress, <laughs> not like a Kato store or Hobby Lobby. There was a sale on AliExpress, so that very well could be why I didn't like it. Maybe I got a bad batch. I don't know. It's AliExpress, you never know. But it's like way too soft for me. It's. I don't know, really sticky and soft. So that's why I didn't like it. I'm just gonna do the same thing and take my roller. And I am pressing pretty firmly. Now I'm just gonna take it this way. All right. Now let's see what we got. I hope it's not too soft. So you don't want to just like yank it or you're going to distort the design. So you'll have to go nice and slow. Okay. Look at that. That's definitely a cool one. Isn't that neat? Oh gosh, this is so much fun. I'm so sorry if you guys find this boring, but like this is one of those things that, like, I don't know if it's weird that I like so much. I find it so satisfying though. Okay, I want a contrasting color. Mm. Whoa, look at this one. We did the sky blue. This color says, duo blue green that's interesting let's try that one i just don't want to do like a pink or a red on pink or i won't show I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit all right there you go nice close-up of it oh my gosh this clay is so soft Okay. I'm just going to open this real quick. I'm sorry, I'm going to zoom you out so you're not like all super close and personal with my hands. Just tapping the top because the last one had it grouped together. I wonder what it means by blue-green if there's 
I'm just wondering if there's both colors in there. Hmm. I don't know. Let's check it out. All right, I'm gonna zoom you back in. All right, so I'm just going to not overdo it like I did last time. That's all I'm gonna do at a time. Start up here. Oh, it's this one's hard because the clay is so soft. You know what? I think I did the wrong side because I'm just doing the line side. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay, found out what I was doing wrong. So the the design part that you want to stick out. See how now the design part is bumpy on the outside. You put that against the surface piece that has that on the inside, or that has it indented. I was just looking at it wrong. All right, so now let's try this. That looks better, okay. Just got a dab. Oh, it's working. I told you my methods with clay pretty much all trial and error. So, just like with canes, I may not always get it right the first time, but I always keep trying till I get it. And I mean, the cool part about like messing up with clay is even when you mess up, you always learn something. Like along the way, how to make it better. And then you start to develop your own designs or you discover a way to do a different project. I don't know, I love clay. There's so much room for originality, you know? And with this type of clay being so soft, I have to be like barely touching it. So that's making it a little difficult. All right, I'm just get that corner a little bit down there. Yes, I definitely need to practice my application. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna wipe my hand off real quick. Look at it! It's still cool though! Oh, I just love doing this. I think I could do this all day. <clears throat> Alright, so we did the lighter colors. Now I have two darker colors I want to try it on. And I kind of think that the vibrance is going to come through quite a bit better. Let's try this one first. So this is just, I wanted to see what it would look like on a marbled surface instead of a, like a solid color. So this is just some scrap clay that I rolled out, like I put them in snakes, and then I just marbled it. Okay. Different color marble. So I'm going to try it with this. <clears throat> Let me see what designs we have left here. Let's try. Ooh, this one has little swirly swirls. Okay, so just feeling it. The design part is facing out. Okay, so I want to put this on the opposite side. <laughs> that way on my piece of clay, the design is what's bulging out and takes the pigment. So, just pressing this on that side. There we go. Let me get this blue off my finger here. Man, that stuff sure does cling to everything. Okay, take a drink real quick. Okay, now let's roll this. I 
I also read something about um, it can be used on fabric too, but I'm not too sure <laughs> what that's all about. Unless you dye fabric. Ooh, or if you tie dye, maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of experimenting with this stuff. <clears throat> and as always, I will share my findings with you guys. Hmm. This is interesting. So that's what this looks like. Some are coming out and some are going in. I actually might try this other side too, depending on how this comes out. Okay, so we need another vibrant color. How about orange? I don't know. Yeah, let's try it. I bet the darker colors would have looked better on the lighter colored sheets. Again, trial and error, right? Okay, let's try this orange here. Sorry, that sound is my lamp, by the way. <laughs> my little lamp that I have on my desk. This stuff isn't too bright. Let's see. Oh, that's... Mm, that's not going to show up. There's too much orange in this sheet. Um, no, let's try... Let's try lavender, wait, what? Gray lavender. Maybe that will show up better. My bad. Okay, let me wipe my finger off, get that off there. I'm like paranoid about mixing the pigments too. <laughs> I don't wanna mix them. Ooh, gosh. Ooh, don't spill it. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, let's try this and see if this shows up better. Ooh, it's a wee bit better. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still not. Hmm. I just don't really see it. Let me try the other side of the design here. I'm just going to fold this real quick. Nope, oh, that was a bad fold. Hold on. Oh, I'm getting this everywhere. Let me wipe my hands off again. So, yeah, food for thought. If you're going to play with these texture sheets, <laughs> keep wet wipes nearby. That's on my roller, too. Okay, let's see if we can get this to show up. And I just flipped the texture sheet over um, just because I think the other one, this design is really small. Like small as in the little shapes and whatnot are really, really tiny. And again, I'll have to practice these texture sheets. You guys are seeing me <clears throat> do this for the very first time. Okay, so now the little designs, uh, I think more of them are facing out now. So let's try this. Okay, just trying to get you to see the colors better. All right, let's see what this does. Little dab. Well, <clears throat> that's a little bit better. Oh, that's really cool. You know, and I wonder what's preventing me 
from using more than one color. Dare to be bold. I want to try this blue here. This one, this is sky blue. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can see that. But I'm going to bring it closer to the camera once I'm done here. Oh my gosh, this is fun. Maybe I want to throw in some pink. <laughs> oh god. This is, which one is this one? Salmon pink. I've been waiting to be able to play with these for so long. Now that looks freaking cool. I don't think I've seen a video where they use more than one color. I don't know why. Not like I broke any pigment walls out there. Hell, I hope I didn't. All right, now this is freaking sweet. I'm hoping that the camera is picking up these colors. Like the blue here, turn on the light here, there we go. Does that help any? No, that made it way worse. Well, it is freaking awesome. Now that is cool. All right going to zoom you back out clear this off wipe my dang hands again don't wear white shirt <laughs> when you play with these okay now I'm excited to try this black you know it's really dark let's see what happens okay and this is oh bigger swirls all right so this has the big design out, and this has it dented in. So I'm gonna put this against the part that's indented. I'm gonna get my roller. I'm gonna start really light at first. And yeah, I did, <laughs> I'm kind of noticing that too. So when you start rolling this on the sheets, don't press too hard at first because you'll risk the clay sticking to your roller or clinging to your roller rather than the sheet. Start off doing it lightly. And once you think that it's, you know, clinged to the sheet, then go through and press hard. Not like, you know, as hard as you can or anything, but you wanna make sure clay goes into all those grooves, man. Okay, just went over it both ways here, carefully picking it up. And this is more of that really soft Kato clay. I always use junk clay or scrap clay for my experiments. Well, that's really cool. I think I did the wrong side again. I did, man. Cause look, see they're indented. So the pigments, I want the design to be on the outside. I'm gonna get this, you guys. <laughs> Do you believe me? Let's make my sheet a little bit wider. Round two. All I did was flip it over. Well, I folded it. Or the sheet I flipped over, yeah. Okay, let me try this one more time here.
There we go. And now you can see the design is up. I'll get this, you guys. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> now I want to try a few different ones here. Mm. What is this one? Mink? <laughs> I'll show you. Ooh, and pearl white. Let's try these. Um, oh, got some on the side there. What is this one? This is bronze. I may even do a video of trying each of these colors on different background colors to see what shows up better. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe my hands again here. All right, let's zoom you in. Sorry, shaking. Okay. And this is the bronze. Ooh. Slightly pressing because again, this is way mega duper soft Kato clay. Oops. I'm really curious if this is as fun for you guys to watch as it was for me. <laughs> like when I first found out that this was a thing. Although the people that I watched didn't really struggle with which part of the texture sheet <laughs> to press the clay into. <laughs> okay, that's the bronze. I'm just going to do a little bit of that corner. I did it heavy in the upper corner there. I've got some on the base, darn it. Yep, I'm gonna have to work on applying it different ways because I keep getting it too heavy or I keep doing too much of it. This is, let me get this open here. Wipe my finger. This is, what is this one called? Sunset Gold. Fancy. And don't forget to tap the top when you open it the first time. Alright. Let's try Sunset Gold. Oops. That's pretty. I'm just trying to do it like as the next color so we'll be able to see it. There we go. All right. And I'm just going to try one more on this one. I'm gonna do the pearl white, but I gotta wipe my hands real quick. Y'all should see my freaking wet wipe. I'll show you at the end though. Okay. This is the pearl white, the last one we will try. But again, don't worry you guys. <laughs> I will let you know if I find anything cool to do with these. Pearl white. Okay, and I'm just gonna put that on this side. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, I think what you have to do is just put like barely any on it. And since like, I think even when you don't think there's hardly any on your finger or any more you could spread out, like there is. <laughs> I don't know. I will work at it and let you guys know what I find works and what doesn't work. That's cool. 
it gives it like a really silvery oops i forgot to put that thing on like a well like a pearl you know the name of the color okay let me try to brush off this extra here and yeah i'm gonna figure out how i can get these sheets onto pins it's just like applying it to the pen you know you have to roll it and if i wrap this around a pen and i roll it i'm going to lose the design isn't that cool oh i love this this is so much fun <laughs> yeah i'm digging this pearl white too awesome all right, zoom me back out. I'm going to clean up real quick and we'll just do a little recap. Okay, well, we learned a lot about Prolex. Well, not a lot, but, you know, a lot of what to do and what to not to do. So, here's the first one we did. I just did the one color on this. So, this might... I don't know, I still think that's pretty cool. I just had to... I should have pressed lighter and took my time more instead of getting so much color on it. And then we did this one, same thing. I have a big chunk of it here. It's still a cool design. And then this one might actually be my favorite. <laughs> this is the one where we try the multiple colors. You have the uh, pinks and the blues. Oh, I like this one a lot. That was on that background. And I think that this one's really cool too. But yeah, just something that I got I wanted to share with you guys. This one really does remind me of a mermaid. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you had fun or you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing well. Or if there's anything that you would like to see me try with these, just let me know and I'm happy to do it. I love ideas. I might actually fold these up and make them into cover minders or something. I don't know. We'll see where it takes us. Um, but yeah, if you have any ideas of this, let me know. Or have any ideas how to get them on a pen. <laughs> um, again, I'm going to mess with these. These are so much fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed Perlex and Texture Sheets for this What's in the Box Wednesday. Anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful night and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!